sharks. Ancient, majestic, perfect predators. For millions of years, they have maintained the ocean's health. But as threats to our oceans increase, sharks and all marine life are at great risk. We have the power to solve the ocean problems with young people. In fact, it's the only solution to the problem. My name is Alice. I'm from Vancouver, Canada. I've come to Borneo to experience what it takes to become a biologist. My name is David McGuire. I am the director and founder of the nonprofit Shark Stewards. This is really a great adventure, traveling through Borneo, the center of the center of biodiversity. I always loved the ocean. I'm interested in how the marine animals live. Obviously a lot of their populations are declining and I want to learn about conservation projects. So uh, I think I'll major in biology in university and uh, we'll see how that goes. After joining up with the Shark Stewards team in Borneo, first up in Alice's ocean education is scuba training. The first time I started diving with Gone, I was pretty nervous. Well, Alice has been working really hard. She did her open water, and it's a very rigorous program. She became certified and confident. And then we came here to Sea Venture and went to Sipadan today, in the island of the shark. Just off the east coast of Sabah, in Malaysian Borneo, lies the island of Sipadan, famed the world over for its rich and diverse marine life. And its most famous residents are the ones that Alice has the biggest passion for. I heard there are a lot of sharks in Sipadan, but I know their population is really declining. One estimate from our partners is that sharks in this area are 90% overfished. Good morning. Good morning. Welcome Good morning. to Sipadan. We'll be heading in that direction with the reef on our left hand side. Maybe we'll stay in the shallow for about 10 15 minutes or so. We try to search for the bum hit parrotfish. Maybe a couple of white tips, not that many in the mornings usually. Uh, maybe some turtles as well. How much you have? We're at South Point. This is the, where all the sharks are down deep. They're pretty here. Yeah, let's go do it. Two, three, go. I've never seen anything like that. It's like entering an entirely new world. I know it's not that common to see sharks anymore, so it was quite amazing seeing so many sharks at a time. How was that? It was great, it was amazing. They're called sling jaw because they can sling their jaw out like some sharks. Alice is learning about fish and sharks, but also the realities of the ocean. The coral triangle has more species than any place in the marine environment in the whole planet and it is deserving to be protected, and it's a huge risk. This is a baby manta ray. So the, the gills are gone, right? So they eat, they eat the meat, but they take the gills for, for medicine. That's what we've been looking for when we're diving. And we used to see huge ones here. There are millions of hungry people eating fish. There's a lot of runoff from the land, a lot of pollution, a lot of plastic that we saw. And we even felt fish bombs when we were diving this marine protected area at Sipadan Island. After marveling at the biodiversity and sharks of Sipadan, I wanted to show Alice how our local partners in Sabah are working to protect sharks and other threatened marine life. 
So we traveled to Pom Pom Island to see for ourselves what is being done to help protect our ocean's creatures and fragile habitat. David. How you doing? Great Good. to see you. Good. Welcome to Track. We made it. Here we are on Pom Pom Island, Alice. Yeah. What does Track do? Track is a research and conservation center that is doing coral reef restoration, fish surveys, so we'll dive along and do transects and do fish IDs and an estimate of population, as well as looking for our sharks. One of the great experiences that I've had here is hands-on conservation that's really simple and fun. We use empty bottles, glass bottles, and cement and sand. We'll just wait for them to solidify, cure for a day, a couple days, and then we put them out on the reef. It's like a sanctuary that provides shelter for ocean creatures, corals, and fish. We're helping that along by taking fragments that have been broken off the reef by nature or wildlife or sometimes boats in an area and tying those onto the reef bottles themselves so that that reef system will have a chance to grow. I've been coming here for three years and I've seen some of these reef bottles overgrown. The coral is starting to grow rapidly. We're seeing small fish use them as refuge. Invertebrates are using them as habitat. And now we're seeing more predatory fish come in and eat those smaller fish. So we're rebuilding that whole trophic level of the ecosystem. I think it's very important for us to try to engage the local community and local people. Community day, we went to Kalapuan Island. Ultimately, conservation is everyone's job. It's not just a group of people. Salamat pagi. I feel that if we're going to protect the ocean, we have to engage the next generation. Today is Kalapuan Shark Day, and so we're here at the school today engaging youth, not only just kind of having fun, but also talking about biology, the ecosystem, and why the ocean is important to protect. We're doing a beach cleanup, so we're picking up all the garbage around this area, and we're engaging the local children to do it with us as well. Hopefully some of this will sink in to these little kids who are having fun and they're picking up thousands of straws. It seems plastic straws, which harm a lot of marine life. Really just basic practices that we all can do at home anywhere around the world. With 10 million tons of plastic entering the ocean every year, we can't go out in the middle of the ocean and clean it up. We've got to start at the shores and at the rivers and at the beaches. By actively engaging the children, hopefully that will trickle through to the rest of the community, or at least one kid who can make a difference. I learned a lot from this trip. I saw from my own eyes the difference between natural reefs and ones that are destroyed. I saw how human behaviors can impact the environment. This world we live in, we can't harm it in any way because this is the only place we've got. I think we all can be ocean stewards. We can all be shark stewards. Wherever we live, however we act. We can decide not to eat unsustainable seafood, not to eat shark fin soup, be concerned about species that are being overfished, worry about pollution like plastics, and also we can also engage others and tell people we need to love it and we need to protect it because it's humanity's future. If all of us are aware of the situation, if all of us contribute to conservation, I think there's definitely hope for the ocean. 